look at this. Good morning, guys. I am in the insanely beautiful Kolob Canyon portion of Zion National Park, and I'm getting ready for a backpacking trip. I finally remembered a few months ahead of time to try and get a permit for this place. I got it, I'm so excited. Right now we're at the car, just packing up all of our gear, and then we're going to hit the trails, and I'm definitely taking you along. We just started the hike and as you can see behind me, it is so beautiful. This is a part of Zion National Park that's not visited very often. So if you wanna visit Zion and escape the crowds, this is a little like upper part of the park that has a separate entrance and it doesn't look like much at all from the road, but you round this corner and then you get a view of this like insanely beautiful Red Rock Canyon and it's awesome. So definitely recommend checking this out if you're in the Zion area. We just finished the hike. This is our beautiful campsite for the night. We're gonna hang out, eat some food, and set up camp. I am hot. <laughs> set up camp and now we're gonna actually go hike to an arch which is about 0.6 miles away so I have a smaller pack here with just some day hiking gear and we're gonna go check it out. A snake just slithered through our campsite like literally right through it. It was a big snake. I drank all my water, so now we gotta go filter some more. Oh man. We are having some dinner with an incredible view. We just finished up dinner, read our books, and just relax. Nick farted, and it stinks. Oh, he farted again. <laughs> I'm dying. Don't use this video. <laughs> the viewers need to know. <laughs> Get up. It is a beautiful day and it's time for breakfast to pack things up and head on out. having a cup of coffee, sitting here on a rock, taking in 
nature. It's so beautiful here. And we're actually hiking out today. So this is just a really short one night trip. I've been doing a lot of these shorter trips that you might have noticed. And it's because I also work a lot. A lot of my life is actually sitting at home on a computer while I do blog and make videos full time right now that doesn't mean that i'm always like out doing these long trips and part of what i want to show on this channel is that if you do work full time you can still get out on shorter trips and i'll tell you when you are in nature time seems to slow down one night here i feel like i've been on vacation for weeks you don't have to quit your job and do a super long through hike in order to experience nature in order to get outside backpacking these shorter trips really are totally different doable even if you have a full-time job <sighs> it's just it almost makes me even like appreciate these trips even more and to be out here is such a joy I'm so so grateful that you're here and that I get to share this with you there's a lot of uphill <laughs> I did not notice the downhill on the way in because I was too busy looking at all that beauty. So we're moving along. Oh. Look at this sweat. We are back at the car. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty exhausted. First thing I did, took my boots off. Now I'm just sitting on the curb here and drinking tons of water. And then we're gonna head back to Salt Lake City today. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you want to know more of like the nitty gritty about Co-op Canyon, the hike we did, how to get permits, that kind of stuff, check the description box below. I'll have a full blog post that goes into a lot of the other details. And make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel before you go. I have tons of backpacking, hiking, camping videos every single week and I'd love to just See you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Peace.